Welcome back to Sport on 7. Still to come, looking ahead to football happening in the country, which could see Australia fail to qualify for the Olympics for the first time in 18 years. Now, though, let's concentrate on tennis. A big couple of weeks for the sports in Dubai. The Dubai GT3 Tennis Championship starts tomorrow, which may be inspiring you to become the next world number one. And when looking for places to learn in Dubai, you may not be aware that Maidan isn't just about the horse racing these days. Tennis 360, which is based in the shadows of the giant Maidan grandstand, aims to get you playing and in an environment unrivaled. Business Development Director at Tennis 360, Gwen Sproul, tells me how long they have been in operation. Tennis 360 was opened in 2010 and we've been in operations for two years now, Tom. And what would you say the big selling points of the academy are? Obviously, some of the best coaches around are here. Yeah, We're trying to focus on fundamental movement skills to keep, get our kids uh, started in, with the game. And we have um, a couple of ATP and WTA uh, players who are formerly competing in the tour. And uh, we're very, very privileged to have them on board with us. And can anyone come here and play uh, people of all ages and all standards? Absolutely. We have kids, we have adults, and we're going to have a paddle court shortly, and which will require far less fitness and far less skills. So, yeah, that will be open, to, open season for everyone. Talking of those coaches, Sergio Gaoni is the director of coaches at Tennis 360 and is proud of the quality they have teaching, but is the standard of players in Dubai at a good level. The standard of players, you know, you get you get people like Federer coming down, you get like Nadal training here. Quite a good standard. <laughs> yeah, it's the best in the world. You get some amazing players. They bring their own entourage here. So you get some real top quality coaches. Um, more on the general day-to-day. -day. You know, here at Maidan we have some fantastic coaches that, uh, you know, from Spain, from the UK, and uh, they've all played at a very high level. And, uh, you know, the, the kids really benefit from that. And when you're coaching the younger kids, how do you get the best out of them? How do you make them inspired to becoming the next Roger Federer or the next Djokovic? Well, the way we do it, we have like coaches like Cesar, uh, Lucas and Anna and Sandy here who have all you know, played at a very high level and Dylan and, and Peter. And what we do with them is because they've seen what's out there in the, on the world stage and then they bring it back and, and they, they invest time with the kids, you know, off court, on court. And now we have a, a fitness trainer who comes in and works with the performance and developmental kids as well. And, and we try to give them a whole a well-rounded approach to, to their tennis. You've been here, like me, for about three and a half years in Dubai. Have you seen tennis grow over those years and, and, the, and the standard grow as well? Oh, definitely. You know, there's, there's a huge demand for tennis. And, and there's also, uh, I think people are getting better educated with tennis. Parents are, and, and they're wanting more from coaches. I think, uh, you know, four or five years ago, the standard probably wasn't as high. And now, you know, people are having to lift their game, whether it's coaches, whether it's players. And, and that's the way it should be. You know, everyone should put in because you're trying to develop a tennis player, but you're also trying to develop the tennis community. Tennis 360 aims to make you the athlete first and then the player. And incorporating exercises such as TRX to their program, they will get you handling those big five setters when they come around. By developing fundamental movement skills, promoting overall fitness and healthy eating habits, education of rules, etiquette and history, this academy is much more than just getting the ball over the net. So as the world's top players descend on Dubai, it's tennis one of the most popular sports in the city. Absolutely. There's a huge interest in tennis. I've been here for nine years and I've seen it increase every year. It's getting better and better. People are very interested in tennis. There's lots of people out there. There's demand for coaches. There's uh, great facilities coming up. Yeah, I'd say it's very good. And the demand, obviously, as you've just said, is, is very high. Do you see that everywhere in terms of people wanting to play and in terms of going to see world-class tennis in Dubai? Oh, absolutely. I mean, uh, it used to be years ago, you did not have to stand in line to get tickets. Now you get a queue for hours to get a ticket to uh, go see Dubai Open. And I, you can see why the top players come to Dubai to play. And uh, it's a great event. It's a great venue. And there's great interest, yeah. Do you think with all the facilities available in Dubai and the great weather and it's a great place to practice, do you think Dubai can produce some world-class tennis players? Absolutely. And uh, there are great facilities, great um, places to play for kids, and it's getting better every year. And already you see my son plays tennis, so I have been to tennis tournaments and I've seen some great talent out there.
and there is um, a lot of potential in Dubai, I'd say. Facilities here at the Tennis 360 Academy at Maidan are pretty amazing, actually. Just look at this court here. This is the championship court, and they use the same surface as they do at the Australian Open. That doesn't mean, however, that you will be performing to the same standard as Djokovic and Nadal in that epic final a few weeks ago, however. But the coaches here will do their best to get the best out of you. It's great, really good facilities. And of course, the weather in Dubai is always good for tennis. You can play almost all year round. Have you seen your, your, your game really improve uh, since coming to play? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely. How's it improved? Um, half the time I can get it back over the nets. <laughs> no, <laughs> definitely improved. It's They're definitely uh, giving you a big workout. You're quite out of breath. <laughs> yeah, no, I've had a big morning. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Do you see yourself uh, coming here for a long time, the Maidana, the Tennis 360 Academy here? Yeah, for as long as I'm in Dubai, for sure. The coaches here are very good, as you can see by this shot of mine. I'm still, however, a long way from the heavy heights of professional tennis. But you'll be glad to know over the next two weeks, three of the world's top four for both men and women will be competing in Dubai. They all had to start somewhere. Why not make Maidan and the Tennis 360 Academy the place where you start? So play got underway today. The top four seeds getting a bye to the second round. Caroline Wozanaki, the world number one as a ranker, and Wimbledon champion Victoria Fatova all competing and, of course, hoping to do well. What does it take to win here in Dubai? It's such a strong field, isn't it? Year in, year out, some of the world's top players. What does it take mentally and physically to win here? You know, it takes a lot of things. You know, you, you gotta be, you know, playing well. It takes skill. It takes, you know, motivation and drive and, and effort and fight. It's, it's all together and mental skill. It's mental toughness. It's, it's all together. It, it doesn't, you know, nothing really falls from the sky. Everything you you win, it, you have to earn it. You know, nobody will give it, give you anything. And how much do the players enjoy coming here to Dubai? The WTA Tour is a long season. Is Dubai uh, one of the highlights? Dubai is always, uh, I think, one of the favorite players, you know, destinations. And uh, we all do enjoy coming back here and playing here. I think it's a, you know, fantastic city. And um, as well, I look forward to competing here again and, and as well enjoying the city of the court. How important is Dubai on both the WTA Tour and the ATP Tour uh, for the season now? How important is Dubai? The players, of course, love coming here. They're well looked after and they play well. Yes, they do. I mean, you're absolutely right. They love the place. They love the facilities. They love the way they're looked after by the sponsors, by the organisers, by Dubai Duty Free, by the hotels and so on. And that's very important to them, obviously. And it's, it's the start of the build-up again because... You have the first little section of the season in Australia, culminating in the Australian Open, then a lot of them will have had a couple of weeks off. Some will have played Davis Cup, some will have played in other tournaments. But now we're really back down to business again and we're building up again. And Dubai has become one of the leading events on the two tours. No, it's not a Grand Slam, but of all the rest, it's right up there. Hi there, Shane here from B2B Fitness. Today we're going to talk you through how to do the perfect squat. With the perfect squat or with the squat, we want you to make sure that your feet are hip width apart, slightly pointed out with the toes, hands up in the air so you keep a nice straight back. Coming down, we're going to push back with the hips first, keeping our stomachs nice and tight, drawing them in, taking a big long breath in. Coming down to our legs are parallel to the ground and our knees and our hips are around about the same height. As we push up, we exhale all the way up to the full extension. When performing the squat, make sure that your knees are tracking over your toes, but not pushing too far forward so they are not over your toes. The common problem we find with the squat is too much forward flexion of the torso and going down too fast. To accommodate these problems, you just got to keep your arms all the way back and keep your stomachs, once again, nice and tight and braced. Breathing in and just taking it nice and slowly on the way down till you get to that 90 degrees. As you come up, chin high and pushing up. A wee thing you can do at home to get used to the squat is maybe go through five repetitions in the mirror to make sure everything is tracking over nicely. Pushing through five repetitions, having a 10 second break and repeating that five or six times.
Thank you, Shane. Uh, more tips next week on Sport on 7. Next, so we look ahead to football in the country over the next week. And Australia may not qualify for the Olympic Games for the first time in 18 years. We'll find out why next on Sport on 7.